a new video in today's video i'm going to be playing with some stickers and some nail Me gel polishes oh i love this so much okay so <sighs> i've got some tips here these are just long stiletto tips that i bought off ebay or aliexpress or amazon somewhere like that um i've got posy i think it was posy this is from the woodland woodland nymphs collection so i want the free edge the free edges of these nails are jelly so they're they're see-through they're transparent i'm using their the nail Kami like jelly colors so it's not as simple as doing a normal french because a gel polish french normally i would cover the whole nail in the nude and then paint on the white of the free edge but we can't do that this time so we have to paint on our nail bed so i've the first bit i've done with the brush in the bottle and then i've put a little bit of posy on my palette and i'm using a detailer brush just to refine that smile line because you don't you know you don't want to um you don't want to it's not going to be as easy to do it with the brush basically um and i've turned the tip round like this you can get your client to turn their hand upside down so that their palm is facing up and then bend their forward their their bend their fingers up so you can have their nail facing the other way um because people people say quite often yeah but how you you're turning the tip around but how would you do that on a client's just turn the hand round and lift their finger up it's easy peasy they won't mind you don't they don't have to keep their hand flat you, you don't you can move them around it's fine don't panic um so i am um just doing i like to do a i like to do an extended nail bed um some people aren't sure i was trying to hear i was trying to make sure that my nail beds are all relatively even so i was just holding the nails next to each other the tips um and just making sure that they're going to be roughly the same depth i think that's the right word anyway i'm going to do this on all four of the nails but i'm only going to show you me doing it on one and a half because it's all the same <laughs> so we've done all four pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds then i'm going to go over with a second coat these woodland nymph gel polishes are quite pigmented so you might not need to do this i just wanted to just to make sure that i've got a nice just make sure i've got nice even coverage so i'm not going to show you me doing all of the second coat because it's just going to take too long so there we go and i'm also just making sure that the edges are nice and neat with my detailer brush Okay, but once I've done the second coat, again, they're going to go in the lamp and they're going to cure for 30 seconds. Don't worry if they're not completely neat because I am going to outline the free edge with some artisan gel paint. So it's not like, it's not desperate that they have to be perfect, but the line I want isn't going to be that thick. So do make sure they are as neat as you can get them. The first jelly colour that I'm using is called Kelpie. This is from Nelkami's Poiseidon Glass Collection. I love saying that, Poiseidon poseidon poseidon but i can never spell it i love saying it but i can never spell it <laughs> so be careful going around your smile line again you're going to be we're going to be lining the smile line so it doesn't matter if you go over a little bit but try not to i'm going to do two coats again each of these cures in an led lamp for 30 seconds so yeah the second coat you don't have to put the second coat on it depends how vibrant i suppose you want the jelly color to be these are some jelly colors i've tried um and they're quite dark so i like you might only want to use one coat these i think you can certainly get away with two because you can still see through them I, I love these ones um right this is where i went wrong no 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 yeah this is where i went a little bit wrong so <clears throat> where the colors where the posy gel polish and the kelpie gel polishes meet we can have a bit of a ridge so i want the nail to be nice and smooth for when i come to paint on the i'm going to outline the smile line and the free edge so i thought right we'll put a base coat on this is going to give us a nice smooth nail well this isn't where i went wrong but i could have added an extra step to make sure yeah i don't yeah there are ways that you can do this and this way was probably not the best so we're going on with the base coat i'm going to hold it upside down as well just so that the gel polish settles nice and even okay and then that's going to go in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds while that's in the lamp um this is a nail Kami palette this is the one with the little dishes in um 
this is good because you can put your artisan gel paint in and then close it up and then you can come back to use it another day normally i put it on my my normal palette and i have to use up what's on the palette or it'll go to waste um but you can use one of those palettes with the dishes and the lid and then you can leave it in there for you know you can until you come back to use it again um right the base coat wasn't the best thing to go on to go straight on to for the outline because the gel polish the the gel paint it it moved more easily on the base coat because of that tacky layer so i ended up with a thicker line than what i wanted here this was where this is where i went a little bit wrong um so on the next nail i will matte velvet matte top coat this and where i've got the nice velvet matte top coat velvet matte top coat is nice to apply the artisan gel paint onto because because it's velvet matte it's got a it, it's got a surface to stick to to adhere to better i think i'm making sense like because we've got the base coat we've got that tacky layer on it it's shiny it's not going to adhere as well i think i'm making sense so when you put your paint when you put your gel paint on it's likely to move it's not going to move a lot but it's going to move a little bit you see so my line is, is is thicker than i wanted i'm gonna go down this side as well so this is uh, this was a, i was googling nail trends and actually this kind of nail and also some people go around the cuticle area as well i didn't want to do that i thought i thought i'd just stick to the the free edge bit the smile line and the free edge but if you want to, you can go around the cuticle because that seemed to, that seems to be a bit of a nail trend. Um, but yeah, I just thought, right, we'll just do the free edge. Anyway, once I'm happy, artisan gel paints are uh, a lot more pigmented and thicker than normal gel polish. So these need uh, 60 seconds in an LED lamp, not just 30. So these are going to have a full minute cure in my LED lamp when I get round to it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was me just making it thicker, but it just ended up a lot thicker. But we're going to add a butterfly. Oh, these stickers. I can't remember where I got these from, but I'm sure I've done a video on these. It was somewhere like Beauty Big Bang or Born Pretty. It was somewhere like that. I can't remember. It's going to go in the free edge. I was trying to make sure I got it. I wanted it straight. I can't deal with wonky butterflies. There we go. Once I'm happy with where it is, you can just push it down just to make sure that it is, it's on the nail, it's not sticking up or anything. And then I'm going to go over with the no wipe top coat. Some of the nails are going to be matted and some of the nails are going to be shiny. This one is going to be shiny. Look at my shiny teeth. I don't know why I say that. I'm really weird. My teeth. Oh, by the way, if anyone can recommend a good home teeth whitening kit or something can you let me know in the comments below because i need to whiten my teeth they used to be nice and white but i've been drinking pepsi lately and i think it's like over the last couple of years i, I went through i went through a coffee phase because my other half bought he bought a he bought a coffee machine he's got a really expensive coffee machine now it's a different one um i can't use it so i don't have coffee as much now but i do drink pepsi max um and i think it's just made my they're just my teeth are just going a little bit yellow and i'm not happy with it so if you can recommend a home tooth whitening kit that would be amazing because i want to whiten my teeth um yeah i did have a look yesterday but i wasn't sure i thought i'd ask people first because they might know yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 right this color is called water sprite it's the most amazing pink again i'm putting two coats of this on and where i make a mess i will just use my my old it's, I call it my cleany uppy brushy, but it's it's a bit of a not really a cleany uppy brushy because it's very it's very haggard, but it, it does the job just about. So yeah, um, two coats of water sprite in the lamp for thirty seconds. Then I decided on this one. I needed some little. These are glitter pixels from Nail Sugar. I wanted I wanted glitter pixels on it because I haven't used these for a long time and they're amazing. And I'm going to dab these into that tacky layer on the gel polish. Now, I'm making sure they don't go on the nude because the nail bed, I don't want anything on the nail bed. I just want the posy gel polish colour on the nail bed. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with the base coat to seal the glitter pixels in and also smooth out that ridge where the gel polishes have met. Um, I do, look, the, the, the glitter pixels do go up onto the nail bed. I am going to get those out before I cure it. Took me a little while. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass. it was, but I've done it. Um, and then I'm going to go over with the velvet matte top coat because I want a, you could, um, you could wipe off the tacky layer and buff it, but because I'm lazy, I'm just going to go over with the velvet matte top coat. It probably would be, if you're doing it on a client, it probably would be better to buff it, wipe off the tacky layer and buff it because the, the more, like the more coats you put on, the thicker the nail is going to be. So it just, it depends as well how, if you're doing this on a shorter nail, you you'd probably yeah you don't want lots of bulk so yeah that's what i'm just saying anyway again i'm going to go around the smile line and because i'm working on the velvet matte top coat the gel polish not gel polish the artisan gel paint didn't move like it did on the base coat with that tacky layer which is good so again i want this line thinner than what it was on the original nail now at the end you are going to notice that the that first nail is going to look a little bit out of place because the line is thicker but i've kept it in because i i just because you know why not um i still like the set of nails yes it looks a little bit out of place but things do go wrong and you know it, it just it's one of those things and it's not like yes it is a little bit out of place but it's not the end of the world you know so yeah just saying just saying if you're going to do this do it on a on a buff surface or velvet matte top coat because it's going to look better <laughs> right i'm going to let you watch this and then i i will come back to you doesn't that look a lot neater as well i think that looks a lot better Right, so I'm going to go over with the velvet matte top coat because this one I've decided I want. I wanted this one velvet matted. Um, but at the very end, I do decide that I want all the free edges glossy. I wanted them shiny. That looks really cute. Look, wait until this is, the, when this is, oh, I'll show you in a minute. You'll see it velvet matted. Those glitter pixels look really nice, velvet matted, just saying. Um, the third nail, I am using Hydra. So this is a beautiful jelly purple. Oh, I just love this color so much. And again, this is quite dark, but it's not dark in it's not dark enough that you can't have two coats on because you can still put two coats on and see through it. That like it's it's a jelly color. You want to you want it you want to see through it. So that's the first coat. This is the second coat. See they're just translucent and they're the perfect um oh, I can't think what the word is. They're just they're just the perfect I don't want to say consistency because that's the wrong word. Um, they're, they're, the, they're the perfect jelly colours, you know. They're just really they're, they're just really nice. See, look, two coats, you can still see through it. Well, I'm going over with the velvet matte. No, with the, this was supposed... Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this was supposed to be velvet matte. And um, I, I just... I think... What was I watching? I was watching Ash versus the Evil Dead when I was doing this. And I must have just thought, right, we're going to go over with the velvet matte. And it turned out that I was using no wipe top coat. Because I'm a silly sausage. See, this is what happens when you don't concentrate. Pop it in the lamp. And then I was like, here, I was like, oh, did I use base coat? And I was like, no. it's no, There's no tacky layer there. Oh, I must have used non wipe top coat because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, right, anyway, we're going to work with it. So, you know, you make mistakes, you just go with it. Because, you know, it's, you know, it's on a client now. and you. But anyway, the non-white top coat, actually, it still worked out nicer to paint on than the base coat with that tacky layer. I think it was probably the tacky layer that, that done it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to neaten up this bit because I made a bit of a boo-boo there. But again... It is still, in my opinion, easier to work on a buff surface. I should have buffed it. Why did I not buff it? Again, I'm just lazy. I'm a lazy wench. Can you hear the workman? The flats have gone up really quick, actually. I don't know if I've said this before, but it was like, for ages, it, it was like a, like a 
like a, just nothing and then all of a sudden there's like oh it's like the end the building's there right so i've gone around the edge i've cured it in the lamp i'm gonna put a sticker on we're gonna add a butterfly to this one as well and when i put it on the first time it was wonky and i couldn't be dealing with a wonky butterfly so i took it off and i straightened it out and popped it back on and then this one is going to be a shiny now so i'm going to go back over it to seal everything in with the no wipe top coat and i was a little bit worried that because i've got shiny on shiny i thought there was going to be like there was going to make like little because sometimes shiny doesn't like to adhere to shiny um but i had no issues with this um it's nelchemy i should have known i love nelchemy you can't beat a bit of nelchemy apart from those hairs but that was my fault a little bit of fiber <laughs> right that's gonna go in the lamp to cure the last nail i've done is with campos um which is a yellow jelly color and i've made that one shiny no i've made it matte um but again um i decided so this is where i decided that i want the i've, I've tried to keep the white outline and the nail bed matte finished but i wanted if you can see here right i'm using my detailer brush to apply this now because i don't want to i want to try and be neat but i'm just working it on the inside um always cut on the waist side of the line i remember that from design and technology at school when we were doing woodwork always cut on the waist side of the line <laughs> do -do 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 -do. anyway i'm just working on the inside of the white line because I don't really want to go over the white if I can help it. But I want that free edge nice and shiny. I'm going to burp. Mm. Pardon me. I hope you didn't hear that. It's that Pepsi Max, cherry Pepsi Max's fault. Um, so I'm I'm going to do the yellow. It's just going to be a nice plain one. Um, just to finish off the set. Even though there's only four. But you've got a thumb. Do a thumb blue or something. I don't know. There we go. And that's them finished. So I hope you like them you can see through them still yes nats they can see through them we added a little bit of glitter pixels for sparkle very nice you can get 10 percent off by the way from now sugar using code natmog10 and i will have gone live this afternoon as well which you probably hopefully you'll have seen that but this is going to be the evening video so yeah have an amazing weekend and i will see you beautiful lot on monday with a brand new video love you all bye